As you can see, I have Saedo's minimap working in Minecraft 1.20.4. This mod is available for Forge and Fabric. In this video, we're going to use Forge. However, if you have Fabric installed, you could still follow along because it's pretty much the same steps. The only difference is Fabric and Forge. So just watch the video no matter what mod loader you have. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and let's get started. Step number one for installing the minimap is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install this minimap. Now, you can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but I'm assuming most of you just want to follow along the video. So just go ahead and click where it says download Saito's minimap and that is going to redirect you over here or you're going to give it a second for it to load as you can see just wait for it to load and there we go now within the files tab in here we're going to look for the desired version in this case we're looking for 1.20.4 and like i said i want to download the forge version for this video however if you're installing the fabric you're pretty much going to follow the same process instead you're just going to choose the fabric version as you can see where it says mod loaders there's Fabric and there's Forge. Like I said, if you're gonna download Fabric, just go ahead and do the same thing. But for this video, we're gonna download Forge. Just go ahead and click on the little three dots right here. Make sure you selected the right version as well, 1.20.4, and then click Download File. That is going to redirect you over here, where in five seconds, in my case, it asked me where to save it, but for you, it's just going to download automatically. Now, once the file downloaded, you could go ahead and find it in your Downloads folder or in this little Download tab right here on Chrome. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now that we have Saedos, we're going to install Forge. Like I said, if you already have Forge, you're going to skip this part of the video. Just go forward around 30 seconds. If you have Fabric, same thing. You could go forward 30 seconds. But if you don't have Forge, this is the way we're going to install it, okay? Go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Same process here. You can read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, just click where it says Download Forge here. That is going to redirect you over here, and you're going to select 1.20.4 right on the top. We also have videos on the channel on how to install Forge. It's not really that hard. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Installer, and that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds. After five seconds have passed, you're going to see the time counting here. You're going to click where it says Skip. It's going to appear right here on the corner. Click Skip, and that is going to start the download. In my case, it asks me where to save it for you. It's going to download automatically. And once we have the Forge installer, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop, just like we do with the minimap, right? So just wait for this little blue bar to go away, and you could drag and drop it to your desktop. Now that we have the Forge installer, like I said, if you already have Forge, you're going to skip this part, but we're going to install Forge. To install Forge, simply double click on it. And when you double click on Forge, the installer will open. This is what it's going to look like if Forge didn't open when you double click on it or it open as a web browser or a text document. That might be because you have an outdated Java. And I'm going to leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. So you guys that didn't get Forge to open could do it. If you did get Forge to open, you could have skipped this part. And also, I'm going to leave a guide on how to run a jar fix. So you guys could run a jar fix after you install Java. Everything is explained in this guide. It's super simple, but pretty much you need to update Java in order for Forge to open. OK, that that's it's that simple. You update Java and Forge will open. That's for those of you that didn't get Forge to open. Anyways, most of us will go Forge to open. Once Forge is open, just click on install client and then click OK. And that is going to start installing Forge. Once Forge is installed, all you got to do is click OK. And then you could even delete the installer for Forge as well as this little text document that appear here. The next step is to add the minimap into the mod folder for Forge. Now we need to launch the Minecraft launcher. And while the Minecraft launcher opens in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will let you play with your friends using any mods that you want. They will make the server for you for Java, Bedrock, whatever you choose. They could add mod packs. They could add a thousand mods if you want. They will do everything for you. And the best part is that if you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off your first server. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you can control the server console through your phone, meaning that you don't even have to be at home in order to control your server, kick people out, change the settings of your server, whatever you want to do, you could do through your phone. So I'm going to leave that first link in the description and let's keep going with the tutorial. As we can see, the Minecraft launcher already open and Forge is already selected automatically. And that will be the case for most of you if you install Forge properly. However, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Because as you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see Forge. And if you want a more in-depth guide on how to install Forge, just watch our previous video on the channel and you will see how to install Forge properly. Most of us will have Forge already here. We're going to click on this little folder that appears right here. And that is going to open a folder with a lot of files. We're looking for a specific folder called mods, M-O-D-S. My folder is right here, the mods folder. However, let's say that you didn't have the mods folder and I went ahead and deleted mine. All you have to do to get that mods folder in here is right click, click new, click folder, type M-O-D-S and you could create the folder yourself. Once you have that folder, go ahead and open it. And all you have to do now is drag and drop the Saedos minimap. Just go ahead and grab it, drop it into there. You could close this folder now. We could go back to the launcher and click play on Forge. We're going to click play. That is going to may prompt you with a sign saying that 
you accept to the rules and just click OK. It could also open automatically. It doesn't matter. Just click on play and wait for Forge to open. Once the game has loaded, as you can see, it says Forge down here. And we could also double check that we have Saedos by clicking on the mods tab in here. And we see that Saedos is in here, which means that we installed it properly. Anyways, we're still going to check within a world. Just go ahead and launch any world that you have. I'm going to launch this creative world that I have here. And if you want to test this in multiplayer and you don't have a server, you could always use the first link in the description and get your first server with Apex Housing with 25% off. You got to give Saedos a second to load in but once you're in the world and Saedos has loaded you could see we have Saedos on the top left and we have a minimap now if we press B we could always add a waypoint so like let's say that we put this as home and that would show in our map as you can see as home if we hold down Z we could always make our map bigger like you can see in there we could see a lot of areas in here and yeah there's pretty much a lot of things you could do with Saedos I invite you guys to explore around and find out what you could do with Saedos minimap but I hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye